Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss whether wearing a tie with a dress shirt and no jacket is a stylish look or not. The combination of a jacket and tie has been a staple of menswear for nearly 200 years. And whether it be a suit jacket, sport coat, or blazer, the purpose of a jacket is, of course, to flatter the male form. A well-fitting jacket will make your shoulders and your chest look broader and your waist look slimmer, thus idealizing your silhouette. But these days, as the average daily outfit for a man is becoming less and less formal, the temptation does arise to leave the jacket at home. This does beg the question, then. Should a man skip the jacket if he so wishes and wear just a dress shirt and tie? Our short answer here, as was also the case with our previous video in this series on whether a man should wear a jacket with a t-shirt, is that this isn't a look we would recommend for most men. We'll cement that position shortly, but first, let's at least give a little bit of time to some potential arguments in favor of the look. First, it is of course more casual to skip the jacket and just wear the shirt and tie than to have the jacket on. Although, if you are going for a more casual vibe, we'll have some suggestions later on better ways to pull it off. Secondly, and more practically speaking, it can get hot during the summer months. And by removing your jacket, you'd have one fewer layer on your body and thus theoretically stay cooler. With that said, though, we also have a workaround for this. If you've got any guesses as to what it might be, stay tuned. Finally here, the shirt, tie, and no jacket look has become something of an established dress code for a few different professions over the years. Of course, for many people, it conjures up images of the aerospace engineers at NASA in the 1960s, and it remains a popular dress code in the engineering profession even today. What's the reasoning behind this, then? Well, according to various comments from engineers in different menswear forums online, it's about striking a balance between white-collar and blue-collar aesthetics. While wearing true business casual attire in an engineering setting might be seen as too self-conscious and vain, going in full-out workwear would still be seen as too unprofessional. In other words, it's about looking like you would be ready to get your hands dirty if you needed to, even though you might just be spending most of your day at a computer. So, in the case of this specific industry, we do think it's okay for the engineers to uphold their unique sartorial traditions. But if you're in another line of work, we would suggest the following alternatives instead. With those potential arguments covered then, why is it that our position is that overall it isn't a good look to pair a shirt with a tie and no jacket? Simply stated, it's because doing this is usually going to make your overall outfit look incomplete. As we stated at the beginning of the video, the trifecta of shirt, tie, and jacket has been the standard for men for centuries, and it's still the default in most people's minds. Even though things are getting less and less formal these days, subconsciously, having all three of those elements is still seen as the standard. Therefore, if you remove one of these three key elements, your outfit isn't going to just be less formal, it's also going to feel lacking. Now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you might be saying, you did an earlier video on wearing shirts with jackets and no ties, and you said that was okay. Well, first of all, you can find that video here if you haven't seen it yet. Secondly, in that video, we did say that you could wear shirts with jackets and no ties, but it was best to do this in less formal situations with individual garments that are more casual overall. So, not something you can just do all the time. The biggest difference here, though, and why we think wearing a shirt and jacket is better than a shirt and tie, is because on a fundamental level, a jacket is outerwear, or a core piece of your wardrobe, whereas a tie is ultimately still going to be an accessory. As such, while you won't be completing the trifecta when just wearing a shirt and jacket, you're still going to look more complete and more put together than if your only two elements were the shirt and tie. Remember also that the jacket is going to flatter your form more, so that's another plus for including it when you're only going to choose two elements. 
Returning now to the arguments we made at the beginning of the video, let's get into our specific rebuttals of those points, starting with wearing the shirt and tie as a more casual option. The short answer here is that there are going to be very few situations, outside of these selected career fields that we mentioned earlier, where a man would need to dress formally enough to have a tie on, but informally enough to not wear a jacket. In other words, if a jacket is required in a given situation, wearing a tie would almost never be prohibited. And if you are still trying to look casual, there are a number of different more casual jacket styles available, in terms of colors, patterns, textures, and so on. On that note, you can take a look at our video on dressing down a double-breasted jacket here. Meanwhile, if a tie isn't required as part of a specific dress code, a jacket almost certainly isn't going to be either. So in those cases, we'd simply recommend that you don't wear the jacket or the tie, and just wear your shirt with an unbuttoned collar. Finally here, if you'd like to strike an even more delicate balance of formality and go for something firmly within the smart casual dress code, you could consider wearing a shirt and tie, and then also wearing a sweater as the outer layer. And while wearing vests as their own outer layer has become a popular look in the last couple of decades, we'd advise against doing this as well. After all, waistcoats were designed to be a middle layer, and as such, they give off a similarly incomplete vibe when worn otherwise. Next, our counter-argument on the point of keeping cool is this. It's all about the weave. There are a number of breathable and lightweight weaves available for jackets that would keep you just as cool as if you forewent an outer layer. Stay tuned for an upcoming video on summer suits, and in the meantime, you can find our guide to summer fabrics here. With all that said, what if you're still dead set on wearing a shirt and tie without a jacket? If this really is the case for you, we'll say that you can do it, but you just have to make sure that you can get some key details right. In the broad strokes, you're going to need a shirt that fits you well and the appropriate type of tie. As we've said countless times here at the Gentleman's Gazette, fit should always be a paramount concern. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, when the jacket was a mandatory part of a man's everyday wardrobe, it was expected that the jacket would flatter a man's silhouette, and because of this, shirts could be more generously cut. Today, though, as jackets are increasingly left at home and shirts are worn as an outer layer, it's most important that you have a shirt that fits close but comfortably to your body, with no collar gapping or muffin top at your waistline. As such, buying slim-fit shirts would be a wise choice for many men, as well as taking the shirts in to get further alterations as necessary. On that note, you can learn more about how shirts should ideally fit a slimmer man in our style guide for the slim man video here. And using myself as an example here, the shirt I'm wearing is indeed in a slim fit cut. However, because I am so thin, it could probably use even more alterations. So on that note, stay tuned for some upcoming videos that we'll deal with tailoring. Turning now to the tie, solid colored ties with some texture in the weave, perhaps a grenadine, a shantung silk, or a knit, would be a good choice here. Also, casual patterns like dots, checks, and some varieties of rep stripes will be similarly casual. Just make sure that your patterns between your shirt and tie, as well as your colors between the two, are working harmoniously. And, of course, you can find a wide variety of patterned and textured ties in the Fort Belvedere shop here. As one more related note here, skipping the jacket means that wearing a tie bar in this circumstance would serve you particularly well. Part of the reasoning behind having your jacket buttoned when standing or moving around is that it will keep your tie in place. But if you don't have a jacket to accomplish this, wearing something like a tie bar would be even more important. After all, you don't want your tie flapping around in the wind or getting caught in your soup. Finally today, let's talk about the best way to pull off a shirt and tie with no jacket, which is actually to have the jacket with you, but just to take it off at appropriate times. 
Stated another way, if you have all three of your core elements on hand at the beginning of the day or when greeting people for the first time, it will cement in their minds that your outfit does in fact have three pieces, so you'll be at liberty to take one of them off if you so choose. This way you can remove your jacket when you're hot, exerting yourself, or sitting for long periods of time, which can damage a jacket's seat. Just make sure to put the jacket on again for important events throughout the day, such as, for example, a meeting. And of course, don't forget the jacket when you're on your way home. Following this strategy pays mind to the classic tenets of menswear and makes sure you'll be prepared for different kinds of situations throughout the day, but you can also indulge in that wish to wear a shirt and tie without a jacket if you so choose. In conclusion then, there aren't too many scenarios where we'd recommend wearing a shirt and tie without a jacket, but it can be done if you take additional care. Before we go then, here's one more reminder to take a look at what we think is the more stylish alternative of these options, which of course is wearing your jacket without a tie. That video again is here. So what's your assessment of this look? And do you think that there are any key points we missed today? Whatever the case may be, share with us in the comments section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so these videos will come straight to your inbox. In today's video, as should be obvious, I'm attempting to illustrate a shirt and tie look that is harmonious. The shirt, which is from Charles Tirrett, features a Prince of Wales check in blue and yellow. Meanwhile, the tie features a geometric pattern of both light and dark blue on a yellow background. The pattern densities of the shirt and the tie are different, so that way they can harmonize well, and of course both garments are on the relatively informal side of the spectrum. My silver tie bar has a blue inlay featuring a subtle Greek fret as a design, and my cufflinks have two different tones of blue on them to complement the tie, which does also. And yes, as I said before, I am aware that the shirt I'm wearing could still have a slimmer cut than it does, so just stay tuned for those upcoming videos on me getting alterations done to several different types of garments in my wardrobe. Grounding the outfit, my trousers are plain navy, as are my socks, and my shoes are brown cap-toe Oxfords from Allen Edmonds. Similarly, my belt is dark brown so that it'll match my shoes, which is another important consideration to have when just wearing a shirt and tie, as of course your belt will be seen at all times. Now, if I were to have worn a jacket with this look, wearing a navy blazer with gold buttons would have complemented the blue and yellow color scheme well. I probably would have changed out my silver accessories to be gold to match the buttons of the blazer, and the trousers then could be in a color like medium gray. And while the accessories I'm wearing today are more modern in style to go with the overall feel of this look, you can find more classically inspired accessories like cufflinks, collar clips, and so on in the Fort Belvedere shop here. <laughs> Thank you.